Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today, I wanna show you how to do a project, yes, a project design, uh, grid connect system, okay? Solar, solar grid connect system. Well, here, the name I wanna call you to, see the file, yes, where we going to do this project. I wanna choose a seat. Uh, for example, Barcelona. Yes, say, say the project. Okay, we say the project. Orientation. Okay, the plane tilt and the azimuth. So what is important here? The optimization with respect to what? Okay, it's a on-grid system, so that means we tow batteries. So we gonna like I can say to optimize the system with respect the whole year. Okay, not summer, not winter, the whole year. Okay, now we want to see here the loss with respect to optimum. How can we change this? Changing the plane tilt. It's not too bad now, but we can make it better. 60 degree, I don't know. No. 35. Thirty-five. Okay, thirty-five is okay. Yes, just see that it's one percent of loss. It's really acceptable. Okay, the azimuth west east, but I want to put to north. Yes, ninety degree. But as you can see here, we are losing a lot of energy. So let's change the plane tilt. I put zero. What's happened? No. It's not a good deal. Oh, we can see it's not a good deal this position. So just let's change the azimuth again. And this one was 35. Now we have a better option. Yes. With a uh, Minimum logs. Okay, system. Okay, here. Well, we can put the plane's power, yes, or the available area. Uh, I'm gonna use the plane power, say six kilowatt. Here to choose the PV module. From 2018, all manufacturers, yes, that's it. I don't care. For example, I want to use a uh, one big, I like this one from Lux and Solar Energy. We can change, yes, this. We can add another PV modules if. You like it into the system because doesn't have all of the solar model of the world. Okay, inverter. All manufacturers. So here, the system said to you. Please select a uh, inverter that the power should be for the seven kilowatt or more. This is gonna be the optimal. So we are not going to waste money in a bigger inverter. So let's see. For the seven doesn't exist, I guess. Not in this system. 
for that. Okay, now it doesn't exist. Uh, if we choose this one, uh, mode and for T modes and series with two inverters. Okay, now I just want to use one inverter. So let's choose a bigger power. Okay, let's choose a bigger power because I want to put just one series. Okay, no two. Okay, this one does accept. Just one inverter. No two. And we want to have four string of four series, okay, with one inverter. Okay. Just put in okay. Self consumption. If we, for example, mount values, constant consumption, I want to put a constant consumption, for example, of, I don't know, five kilowatts. Okay, storage, if we want storage like battery, yes, you can put here in self-consumption and choose the batteries, but in this case, you're not gonna do this. Okay, these are options, really it doesn't matter. Near shading, yes, this one matter. If we have some shadings, sh some shadows, we have to put, for example, linear shadings according to model steel or the electrical calculation. Yes, but for that, you have to construct this shading. But we want to suppose that there are no shadings. Okay. So just we want to run the simulation. Of course, we can do a lot more of things, but just to introduce you to the programs. Here, we are going to report. We are generating a document. And this is the document. In this page, we have all of the project and system summary. Yes. Here we have the PV that we use, how they are connected, the inverter, etc. In this one, the main results that we are interested in. For example, the performance ratio is 85. It is uh, really good, we can say. Play file, the loss diagram. This is important because to understand how can we enhance the system is understanding the loss diagram. Okay, like, oh, here we are losing at 3.45% because of the inverter. Okay, maybe the, there is another inverter with a uh, better efficiency, and we can change this to enhance the performance ratio. Okay, yes, this performance. And this is our first song graph of the energy available and how much, how many we use. I hope you understand the video. And in next videos, I wanna do like more specifically to understand better the program. This is just to introduce. And well, thank you for watching me.